high mayor trees planted as part of the Ho Chi Minh City's efforts to take part in the One Billion Trees program. Uh, these were planted in April, so a couple of months ago. Uh, 23 in total in this little unfinished park. Um, the city aims to plant 500,000 trees this year in various parks around the city, and then uh, more in the future as we move towards 2025. But uh, these were planted, like I said, in April as part of the city's commitment to the program. province in central Vietnam uh, on a road that leads up to close to the border with Laos and uh, behind me uh, we've been running up this valley for a while and it's a mix of plantation uh, so a lot of acacia that is all over this province and neighboring areas and a bit of natural forest that you can kind of see more in the background right behind me but then there's this hill off my shoulder where um, plantations have just been cleared and they'll be getting ready for uh, to replant it for another harvest in five to six years. So here I'm up a little closer to the border with Laos um, and again you can see a bit of a mix of forest behind me so some plantation in the middle area and then farther up, that's more natural forest. And then behind me, um, also some uh, landslide damage. Last year was a really bad time food season in this region and there's a lot of uh, landslide remnants around here. closer to the city of Hue, uh, the provincial capital, to Tien Hue. And behind me, uh, what looks like pretty desolate deforestation is actually acacia plantations. Uh, the area right behind me has just been cleared, so they'll be replanting that um, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, so while, I know, while this looks pretty terrible, this is how this area works. Um, lots of small holders have plots of land with uh, acacia. Um, on five to seven year rotations where once it's harvested they sell it for timber or paper products um, and that's a huge part of the rural economy here. I'm here on a large farm owned by um, a man living outside of Hue. It covers 130 hectares, mostly acacia, but this plot is partially supported by WWF Vietnam and they are mixing in indigenous species like this sow tree right behind me, that's the Vietnamese name, uh, that are about a year old now, and they will let them grow um, into the future, like into their grandchildren's generation, they said. Uh, whereas the acacia, the taller trees you see behind me, those are actually going to be harvested this year. They were planted in 2014, so they will be harvested for timber, but the indigenous trees uh, will be allowed to grow for decades in the future uh, to maintain healthy forest cover in between the harvesting of mature acacia. This is another part of the 130 hectare farm. Uh, and this is a hilltop that was recently cleared of acacia and replanted. So you can see behind me, um, young acacia trees that were planted in January. So just four or five months ago. So they will let them grow uh, for a few years, see which ones look like they're healthy, let those keep growing, and then trim the rest for paper. And then the others, the healthier trees, they'll let grow for seven years to be harvested for timber. Um, and there are some indigenous trees mixed in here, also very young, um, but this is a replanted hillside that will look uh, more like those in the background in a few years. 